Hello folks and welcome to Monday's episode. Episode 18, I think, which was an admin catching up day. So the only excitement was the Windows installers arriving to put two new windows into the outhouse. And that was very successful. And here's a little pick of the result. Now, when scanning the news headlines this morning, my eyes were drawn to a report that a Muslim leader was supporting removing citizenship from those who support terror organisations. This is following a report that a naturalised Irish citizen had been captured by forces fighting ISIS, or the Islamic, Islamic State. Now, as I'm in the process of applying for Irish citizenship, this set me thinking about what citizenship and nationality actually mean. And it's not as straightforward as you might think. So let me tell you a little bit about my family history. My mother and my father's mother both came from the Mediterranean island of Malta. And my father's great-grandfather, so that's my great-great-grandfather, was an Irish citizen who emigrated to England in the 1830s. And while his mother was Scottish, his ancestry was pretty well exclusively Irish. He was a direct descendant of Brian Boru, the High King of Ireland at the beginning of the 11th century, and so therefore am I. I was born and raised English, in England. And I would have considered myself emotionally as British for a lot of my adult life, though with a very strong connection to Malta having lived there for a year aged 18 and had business interests there in the 70s, uh, together of course with um, many, many, many relatives as my mother was one of a family of 16, 15 of whom survived and 14 got married. Together with a curiosity about the Irish connection, but not much more than that. Then 18 years ago, I started regular visits to Ireland culminating in a decision to make it my permanent home a few years later. So with this mixed heritage, and now in my eighth decade, how do I feel, or rather, what do I feel? And I have to admit that I am influenced by the ridiculous decision of the British electorate to leave the European Union, but that's only a part of it. Because of my upbringing, I feel Firstly, English, but rather embarrassed to be so. And then, I don't feel Irish or Maltese, or I feel European. And because of the way that my life has gone, I call myself international. My first partner was Dutch Indonesian, so my children are half Dutch Indonesian, half. Blah, the mixture of English and Irish and German, I have a little bit of German in me, and Scottish and Irish, and oh, all the hodgepodge that I am. And one of my children's partner is French. So we are very much an international family. And I think this is how we should be feeling. We shouldn't be treating our nationality as something that we have to uh, run the flag up and kowtow to this great thing which is a nationality. A nationality is just an administrative convenience. It allows us to travel from country to country and that's it. Citizenship, citizenship is something a little bit different. Citizenship to me represents where I am living and where I want to live. And this is why I am applying for Irish citizenship. Okay, it's partly because I don't want to lose my European Union status, but that is only part of it. I want to, I want to be able to act fully in the country in which I live, that is, have full voting rights, have, I pay taxes, and as we know <laughs> from the American War of Independence, 
if you pay taxes, you should have representation. And at the moment, I only have partial representation. Oh, there we are. That's my thought for today. Please leave a comment down below if uh, you would like to add to the conversation. And if you like what you see and what you hear, then please do subscribe and hit the notification button. And please leave us a like. And I'll see you again in tomorrow's video.